The yellow cells in the Retirement Planner indicate where you enter the data. When you open up the Retirement Planner, it comes populated with a sample client, Bill and Mary. Bill is age 60 and Mary is age 58. They have an investment portfolio of $650,000 and we're assuming they're going to earn a portfolio return of 6% per year in the future. They are saving $15,000 a year towards retirement and we're assuming that will increase by 2% a year. Bill's Social Security at age 62 is expected to be $2,000 a month and Mary's is expected to be $1,000 a month when she turns 62. Their expected living expenses in retirement, excluding income taxes, are $75,000 a year, and we expect that to go up about 2% a year going forward. Our retirement tax analysis indicated that they're going to pay an effective tax rate of 15%. Bill has a defined benefit pension of $1,000 a month beginning at age 65. Also here, we have uh, additions and subtractions uh, available in row 7. This row is for one-time expenses or windfalls, such as an inheritance or paying off a mortgage. The important thing to remember here is that these fields down here, reti other retirement income 1, 2, and 3, are for lifetime income only, such as defined benefit pensions. So you only want to put lifetime income down here. And up here you want to put one-time income or temporary types of income. You must put the data in the yellow cells. If you try and change the other cells, you'll see that they're protected. There are a few strategically located unprotected cells, which I'll discuss in another tutorial. The retirement planner determines what format to use based on the data you input. So for example, if we make change Bill's birthday to make him three years younger, you'll see that this red light lights up below the reformat button which tells us that the retirement planner has sensed that another format is required. So if you click on the reformat button, you'll see that the retirement planner reformats to fit the situation. When you want to get started with a new client, what I recommend you do is to clear everything out using this clear all fields. And then you can enter the data from there.